The GFI power cord assembly includes a new 16 gauge power cord with a GFI protection box. It also comes with the wire connectors already installed. The cord can be damaged over time. It can be cut, nicked, or internally damaged. The GFI box can also fail, so it no longer allows power to the tool. Replacing the GFI power cord is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the side cover from the motor. Now I can remove the cord connections from the motor. I'll remove the black wire from the air switch. The white wire from the Ford reverse switch. And the grounding wire from the motor's frame. Now disconnect the cord clamp and pull the wires away from the motor. And I'll remove the cord clamp nut from the old cord. Now I can install the new cord. First I'll thread the clamp nut onto the cord. I'll thread the cord wires back into the motor box. and I'll secure the cord in place with the cord clamp. Now I'll reconnect the wires. I'll start with the ground wire. Then the black wire to the air switch and the white wire to the Ford reverse switch. With the cord installed, I can finish up by reinstalling the side cover. And that's all it takes to replace the GFI power cord on your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.